Hey guys, this is Asad Siddiqui. I'm the owner and developer at idesignsmart.com and we provide all kinds of WordPress services and solutions. So if you'd like to work with me, my contact information is in the description of the video. I wanted to make up a, a follow-up video on the previous B theme videos that I made. Uh, a lot of the viewers uh, don't find the exact same information that they had. Uh, because things have changed in the B theme. So I decided to create a brand new video and go over uh, all the different uh, things that I went over in my previous video. So we will go over how to uh, properly set up the B theme and after the setup how to import the sample content, uh, how you can utilize the more than 400 professionally built layouts that the B theme have and you can get up and running very quickly so let's get started so the first thing I've done is I have installed a brand new uh, WordPress install and this is the default installation of WordPress without uh, any uh, theme or any um, software install on it any plugins so what we will do is uh, install the B theme, install the sample content, and I'll also show you how to edit it. And we'll briefly talk about different options like logo and header, and how you can work with the muffin builder. So the first thing you want to do is to install the theme itself. So the uh, for the theme installation, you just need to go to appearance and click themes. And once the themes are there, actually I do see that there is a B theme already installed on mine. So I will get rid of it just to show you guys how to install it. And we will do add new and upload theme. And then you'll have to browse to the file that you downloaded from your theme forest. So uh, theme forest file uh, folder uh, that looks like this and after you unzip it, uh, that looks like this. You click on the B theme premium WordPress and then you'll have a B theme, a child theme and, and a PSD file. So uh, what you want to do is to upload the B theme directly over here. Uh, okay, why ha are they giving you the child theme? If you want to make modification to theme files, then you definitely want to set up a child theme. Uh, so, and any updates will not cause your uh, changes to any PHP file to be lost. So if you are setting up a child theme, then um, you don't lose your changes on theme updates. And that is when you install it. But uh, this will cover most of the options. Uh, and there's a lot you can do with it. So in most cases, you don't need it. Okay, so the current version of the theme is 2104. And now it for the bundle plugins, it requires theme registration. So the first thing you want to do is enter your uh, purchase code over here. Where do you get your purchase code? You go to your themeforest.net account where you downloaded theme. Uh, actually, let me show you where. So I will log into my theme forest uh, account and uh, I will just sign in and go to downloads and here you will see that uh, on the download what I downloaded was the all files and documentation instead of that you will do license certificate and purchase code so once you download this it will download a file with the purchase code in it and that is what you want to uh, be putting inside of this register theme option so you just put that in and register the theme and once you have registered the theme uh, okay it says thank you for the registration and if you want to build another site with it then you'll need to buy another license so here are the useful links which says install plugins pre-built website and theme options you can also locate it under the b theme menu there so you can say install plugins, pre-built uh, websites and theme options. So for the first thing you want to do is to install plugins. So simply click on the link that says install plugins and then uh, you will have all these plugins uh, to be installed. Now notice that the layer slider, revolution slider, the uh, visual page builder, uh, the WB Bakery visual composer and uh, are the 
premium plugins and you'll have to pay around like um, thirty dollars for each plugin but they come bundled in when you register the theme so that is a great uh, a benefit for you you can uh, you can do that so I don't need the uh, bakery plugin because I will be using the muffin builder okay so I will just uh, start clicking on the install button I don't want to bulk install it just in case any installation fails on a plugin I want to be able to see what is going on with it so duplicate post and force regenerate thumbnails force regenerate thumbnails will uh, like anytime you do the demo content it is uh, uh, recommended that you do that to make sure your theme uh, your images are rightly sized for the theme I will install slide revolution this is a big plugin so that might take a little you see that these are wordpress repository plugins and these are the bundle premium plugins that come with the b theme so you're saving a lot of money also uh, i highly recommend uh siteground hosting if you would like to go with the b theme because you want a higher configuration of your wordpress installs a higher version of php um, and good support so uh, there are many hosting companies that will uh, provide all of that uh, but my personal recommendation and I have very good experience with SiteGround my discount link is in the description I like I said I'm gonna skip the page builder and we will say header builder beta uh, this is a tool a plugin that will give you the tools to dynamically or not dynamically but uh, you can build headers with it for the B theme so now I am going to uh, select the plugins that I want and I will go ahead and activate them so contact form 7 I will activate uh, duplicate post I will activate uh, force regenerate thumbnails activate uh, okay layer slider I did not install uh, okay so let's just go with the slider revolution if in case our demo uh, sample needs a layer slider we'll go ahead and install it remember it's always good to uh, install as minimum as you can so the plugins that you won't be using you should get rid of them or you should just uh, install and activate stuff that you will be using so you can see that slider revolution activation uh, takes a little bit because it's a super big plugin okay and after slider revolution I will activate the B theme header builder okay so looks like all the stuff that I wanted to do here uh, I'm now done with it my theme is registered and I can okay so before we go on I want to just show you how my uh, page looks like and you can see that it's the B theme that is activated and installed and right now I do not have any sample or anything so it looks like a plain WordPress installation with B theme installed, but in the background we have registered the theme. Okay, so now what we want to do is go to the B theme uh, and select what kind of layout we want. So in this sample, like their splash page, which is themes.muffingroup.com, you will see a lot of different layouts that you can go with. Uh, typically, uh, when making these videos, I want to go with something that is newer so the window that you just saw open was a B business that I like like this layout so this uh, layout I like because it's a simple layout it's uh, you know, like you have multiple columns and responsive design uh, some nice design elements it has a slider uh, and you can like click on different options in the menu so you can click on the about and uh, it's a multi-page basically so you have multiple pages that you can import with your sample import so let's go in and import the B business in our installation okay so to install the sample content what you need to do is to click on pre-built websites and once you do that uh, you'll basically see the same panel that I was seeing in the B theme splash page right there uh, pretty much over here 
So you see all these different options that uh, you can uh, set up on your uh, WordPress import. And we will try to find B business here. Uh, the previously when I made the video it was profile and this was one of the newer but the layouts um, muffin group does a great job with the layouts and they keep adding new ones so if you uh, now they have more than 400 layouts okay so it is pretty hard to find the B business oh uh, actually it's right there so I will just click on it and once you click on it it pops up a window and says that you can install this layout. So for this layout, you need two uh, plugins, Revolution Slider and Contact Form 7. Both of them are active on my installation. If they were not, then uh, it'll say that you need to install and activate this plugin. Before doing that, you can also live preview the site and basically it'll just open the site that I was just showing you. Now you can just click on install and once you click on install, it'll give you a warning that if you have already installed any pre-built website, uh, please reset. And the, to reset, I recommend the WP Reset plugin. That's what I use to reset everything. And you simply click on next and import media. I do want to import everything. I do want to import the revolution slider. So there is no multi-steps here. Uh, you can uh, import the complete uh, pre-built website as is and I will just go ahead and click on install so now it'll just go ahead and uh, install our layout okay that was a fairly quick process and looks like everything is done uh, so I can go and click this button called preview website to look at it or go to the muffin options uh, to change start changing and set up my uh, all the stuff that I want to set up uh, so let's take a look at what this uh, did and what we'll do is to just click on the preview website button and once you click on preview website uh, it'll basically uh, show you all the stuff uh, right there and your site is there pretty much so all you need to do now is change content and I will be showing you how to do the slider and then how to edit this content uh, and pictures and use the muffin builder so the first thing you want to do is probably the change the logo so the to change the logo what we need to do is to go to muffin options and the theme options are right here so you can uh, go to the theme options or you can click this button the muffin options so I will just go to the theme options and try to find where the logo is so I think it's must should be in the global or in the header data so the layout grid width no it doesn't look like the logo is in the global option so oh, global and logo is under the global options so you go to logo and there's where you can upload a logo so instead of this you can upload your own logo and retina logo is typically twice in resolution in width and height and this is used on the apple devices so if you have a uh, uh, twice the size of your original logo, you can uh, use it as your retina logo. A sticky header, uh, when you scroll down, uh, you still see that the header stays up there with the menu options. So if you want to display a different logo over here, you will be uploading a new logo in the sticky header logo. And in the options, a uh, link to home page is, for example, if I go to about page and click on the logo, it'll bring me back to the home page. So that is pretty much the option that is set up and pretty much uh, what you need to know about changing the logos. Next, we'll change, talk about the menu. That is the main menu of the site. And to access the menu or change anything, you need to go to appearance and then go to menus. So I'll open that in a new tab. And once you open that in a new tab, you see home about offer clients, our team contact and by now so that is the logo there uh, if you want to reorder anything uh, let's say you want to the about page to say about us you can simply change the navigation 
the uh, navigation text or label and change it and if you want to reorder it you can simply drag and drop this so now clients will show before the offer uh, always make sure to save the menu uh, so once you do that and now you need to just refresh the page and once you do that you see clients show up before the offer about uh, instead of about says about us so that is how you modify the logo to add a totally new page to the menu you can simply check this box and add to menu and it'll start showing up here you can also add custom links or links uh, to your blog post in your menu so you can do that as well so that is pretty much about it for the menu uh, there are a lot of different header styles uh, that you will have in the B theme so if you go to header and subheader here you will see that there are different options and uh, based on these options you can uh, select what different kind of header will be dis uh, displayed right now it's like a floating header so you have uh, this white bar and you have a search uh, icon here and there is some information up top if you change that to this and save changes now uh, it should be like the top header and the uh, menu options on the right hand side so I will just go ahead and refresh my page now you see that it's a more standard type menu not a very B theme default menu type so it uh, looks like the there's a header bar up top uh, and then there is a a logo and then there's a menu so you can see that um, you can put the logo in the middle you can put the logo up top and then the menu options uh, you can put a, a tagline there you can have a left side menu you can have a logo and a left hand side menu just uh, so many options that you have you can even have an overlay menu um so there are you can have it at the bottom you can have it at the top uh, you can have a left side menu there's a lot that you can do uh, over here and change the styles that i need to go over here so the subheader options is where uh, some of the other options will be and i don't need i don't think that there is anything special here that i need to go over uh, i will just check what's in the extras okay nothing much uh, pretty much everything is default so that is how uh, the header and the logo is set up and you will have to play with uh, the header options or the logo options if you want to like uh, see what the different options do okay uh, the next thing that we'll be talking about is slider so for the slider we need to go to slider revolution and you will see that when we import the sample content there is a new slider that got created which is home business so everything is a one-step process and it has two slides one is a woman and the second slide is a man and the woman slide is right here so it has a nice picture and a nice background and some text that is a style so to change the image you will simply click on it and uh, delete it right here or you can hit the delete key on your keyboard and this will be gone and then you can add a new image and once you can add a new image make sure it's transparent so the nice background shows over it to modify the text you can simply double click on it and here is where you can upload or update the text and after you're done uh, like you can say anything and also put HTML markup over here so you can say I will just say my name is Asit and instead of uh, and then there's a line breaks and then there is another like break uh, line break so I will not modify the line break And here I will say okay so that is how my text looks like and I will just say okay and 
to modify these styles you have all the different uh, like fonts and font size and line height and uh, spacing and alignments and everything this is just the sample that they provided uh, with their installation so instead of this I will just put my website here okay so that is done and these layers uh, work very nicely and you can just drag and drop them basically to position them where you want them to be and you can also like for example right now I don't want to display the second slide so I will just disable the second and just enable the first and I will say save and after you're done saving the slide we will just refresh this page to make sure all our changes are being displayed okay so now you see that we just modified the header and there is um, the new slide that I just built so in my new slide uh, you will see that there is an animation on these things so you can go and highlight that and click on animation and you can see that there are some effects which are character based uh, long from right so things slide from right on a character by character basis so that is the animation that you can do you can also slide things you can move things around you can even um, configure them so they react to your mouse movements so that is very cool and that is uh, uh, all you can do in slider revolution you don't have to do anything in the B theme options so I have another video on slider revolution on my channel and if you want to explore more you can definitely do that so that is the header and the next uh, starting from here we have the page content in the muffin builder so what I'll do is I'll briefly go over this setup and how you can edit these things so to edit the page you will simply click on the edit page and once you uh, click on edit page uh, the page will open in a muffin builder view and you can also uh, okay so here's the muffin builder group that's our home page and you uh, you how this works is you have sections so a section you can think of as a row so if I view this page on a different uh, tab what you will see that there are different sections here so there's one section that says earn more with only three steps and then there is another section where there are like team members and uh, image or their skill and then we have another section how we do it which has a list of things and and stuff like that there is a newsletter so that is uh, the first section where it starts with earn more with only three steps uh, you can see that there is a fancy heading element uh, inside of a wrap yeah, so how how they do is first you add a section so the green bar here is the section and you can uh, view its properties by looking at the bar clicking the uh, little edit icon over there so you can uh, display uh, add padding for that section and you can do margins uh, I don't know if you can do margins I think you can do only padding here you can do paddings and you can also define if there's a background color or image so if there's a background color or image you can browse uh, for any image and specify parallax so if you want to do parallax you can do a fixed type image and then the text will scroll but the picture will be fixed so that is pretty much how you put backgrounds and you can do background sizes to be cover contain auto as well if you want videos in the background you can do HTML5 videos I will not recommend that because they will take a lot of your bandwidth so on slower connections your site will become slow and uh, it is very important for the site to be fast all right so that is the wrap options or the section properties and this is the wrap properties which will be very similar to what you just saw so your background color for wrap image position size and you can see how the different uh, options are set up so that's a good sample content always gives you a good starting point to see how things work these are muffin builder elements so now one by one means a full width column one by third means a one by third column one by third column one by third column so the wrap has uh, 
element uh, which is uh, different columns so the first row will be the one by one column and the second row will be one by three columns and uh, inside of this column you will have uh, some content which is like that so the better you describe the problem the better diagnosis we get uh, the background image is they are using this uh, step one dot png so you can definitely upload yours here and just to show you how the update process works so i will change the title and i will change some text here I do not have graphics of the similar size so I will leave that and I will you can also for the elements inside of the column put animation so you can see that bounce and left will have a nice effect so update so that animation is a very nice feature of the B theme and it has been there for a very long time so it looks pretty slick once you do that refresh Okay, now we have a slider that I modified and I will go down. You see that these come out and then there is a step one designing with B, which is a title that I modified. When you're using with like multiple columns with images and some text, make sure that your text uh, aligns on all the three columns because it makes it more uh, nicer to look at. So that is pretty much how you change these sections. If you'd like to change the images, you can do that as well. And then there's a button that says, try our new free consulting. So you go down, there's the button inside of a column. So you can edit this and inside you will see that there is a content and in the content, they are using a short code for a button. So that's a short code that uh, you can replace. Uh, instead of the text, you can say something else here and you can also specify a address or HTTP on the target to who, if you want to go to a different page. And uh, you can configure different kinds of stuff like alignment on the button and, and text alignment, margin button, padding, animation so right now it's con uh, configured to be fade in but you can have all the different kind of uh, animations like bounce and slide and and stuff like that okay so that is a very quick overview of how you can basically i do plan to make another video with the <coughs> on working with the muffin builder and we'll go in detail about how the wraps work in different columns and what are the elements that are available with the B theme and Muffin Builder. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick overview on how to do things if you want to utilize a pre-built layout in the B theme. Okay, the next section, next section is uh, our team and then there is a info box. So to add an item to inside of a wrap, you can just say add item basically. So if we add, uh, let's say I add another wrap. Uh, and also before I move ahead, uh, also just to give you the basic, uh, the second element here uh, will just clone the whole wrap. This will just delete it and this will just edit it. So if I want to duplicate something, I can always click on the clone button here. This will duplicate the whole section. This will duplicate the whole uh, wrapper and this will duplicate the whole column. So basically I just want to duplicate a whole wrap. Let's say I duplicate the whole wrap and instead of our team, I will just get rid of these things to show you how to add stuff to the muffin builder, page builder, I'm sorry. Okay, so now I have an empty wrap uh, basically with the same properties that I have the next one and I click on the add item button. And once I click on add item, I see all different kinds of elements that I can add. So I can add progress bars, I can add uh, text blocks, I can add content. So, and these are categorized here. So if you want to see only content blocks, you can click on content blocks and it'll give you a filter. If you want to um, add something for types, you can, here is all the content WP type um, uh, stuff that you can do. And if you say content WP, what this will do is 
okay and once it adds in a one by fourth column you can always plus it or minus it uh, if you want to adjust the height and once you click on edit element it'll basically um, give you uh, oh this one shows you wordpress editor i'm sorry so we'll need to remove that and we'll do uh, add item again and go to type and instead of that i will add a column this time so once you add a column uh, you can edit that and then it gives you an editor where you can put in your text so you can put any text or any short codes over here and you can give it a title and stuff like that if you want to change the width on this like you want to have only two uh, columns you can do it one by two and then you can just duplicate it basically so you have two columns uh, inside of a wrap yeah uh, so that is pretty much how you work with the wraps and columns to explore all the different um, elements that you have uh, you will need to like look at all these options and and play around with them to see what different things they do but there is a lot that you can do and the sample content uh, makes use of it okay so our team is the next and Sean Turner Victor Campbell okay so we'll edit the our team and this is the our team widget that we are using without a heading this is the image and there is Sean Turner and subtitle is their designation and then there is some content that you can modify okay so that is pretty much the process on modify the whole thing the other thing uh, this and this will be exactly the same okay the last thing on this page that I wanted to talk about is the footer uh, configuration so the footer basically consists of three different parts uh, the first part I see here in this configuration in the thing is the call to action that you can add uh, to a footer like uh, something that is contact us or buy from us or download the ebook or something like that uh, it's a good feature to have if you need that you can configure that in the theme options uh, then there are three different columns that are being displayed in the footer so you can um, uh, modify them in the footer areas uh, like I showed uh, or maybe I did not show to you so you go to appearance widgets and then you have different widgets footer 1 footer 2 footer 3 footer 4 footer 5 so it will support up to five columns uh, right now the first column has uh, this text that you can modify so let me show you where that is so you can simply expand that and that is where you modify the footer uh, footer 2 some features uh, also like that so it is a list with icons um, that you can do and you can use different short codes that B theme supports in the footer widgets as well uh, footer number three just displays some uh, social icons and text so if you go to footer three have any questions so there you will have a uh, icon bar I uh, and the icon is Facebook Google Plus so basically they're using the icon bar short code over here to display all the stuff uh, which is right here and the third section of the footer so we discussed two the call to action was here which is missing from here the second one was the footer widgets area so this is the widget area that i was showing you and right now it's only displaying three so you will notice that footer number four is empty and does not have any widgets if you want to display four columns you can add a text widget over here and configure however you want so that is the number four option uh, and you can also do five so it can display up to five columns in the footer and notice that when you go responsive it will all be just one column and the last uh, section is the uh, a copyrights area in the footer so you can display your copyright message over here uh, and you can uh, also display the show social icons and back to top option so to revisit those you will need to go to theme options again uh, okay I need to go to B theme options okay and try to find out where the footer options are so we go to footer and then you can see that 
it has a call to action so you can see it's missing right now otherwise you will see an additional section which is call to action the copyright message uh, leave this field as blank to show a default right now the default is being displayed you can put any uh, message here so my new copyrights message I will just do and say 2019 and Copyrights and social bar, you can also center it or hide it. Uh, so right now I will just leave it at default uh, because I am not sure exactly what. Uh, so you can uh, also do the back to top button. Um, you can also hide that or make it sticky. So it sticks on the screen and do a pop up uh, contact form as well so you can put the contact form short code over here and the icon for the pop-up form you can select from these uh, many options so that is in a very uh, quick time a very fast overview and a uh, uh, dis uh, discussion on how you can use the demo content uh, and utilize it to make the site up and running super fast and how you can modify the content other important options that you will have to play with are the font options so you can go to fonts and you will see that all the configuration of the different fonts main menu is roboto it's a google font the content is roboto page title will be arial big headings will be lato roboto roboto lato so these are google fonts and they mod uh, they offer these settings so the weights and styles 300 light 700 bold 400 regular and regular italic um, those are loaded fonts so they can be used by the site so those are the font settings the font size and styles are down here so you can uh, specify in line height and font size and what different uh, styles you want to apply to these different elements so h2 is heading to uh, content text uh, all the different type of options you can specify the size in terms of line height and also the style that gets applied to it uh, the other uh, really important option is the custom css so really uh, you can pretty much achieve any kind of styling on any of your sections by writing some custom css so you can put all your custom CSS here and this does not get lost on theme updates. So that is great to have. And I think menu and action bar is an important one. So you can select different styles that the menu have. Uh, so it can be line above menu or below menu and you'll have to play around with these options to know exactly what they will do. The action bar, I will just click on it and show action bar above the header so basically if you go all the way up you will see a black bar that is the action bar so you can style it and you can um, choose to display it or above or below the header so that is pretty much about it if you would like to uh, uh, have any question answered or have a discussion with me feel free to leave a comment on the video and i will get back to you as soon as i can and if you'd like to work with me on any of your projects or with a, a premium theme or setup uh, feel free to do that as well my contact page is in the description uh, thanks so much for watching until next time